Hey guys, how are you all doing today? Tyler here at Rock 50 and welcome back to another Lunacy Battles video. Today, we are going to be going over the boat and how good or bad it may be. This is actually a bit different than the how uh, recent you know, towers being good or not videos. Because boat actually is a lot better than the three towers I've touched in the past. This is more just kind of what kind of strategies do I like to do with the boat. Alongside showcasing the new boat skins. That's actually the primary reason I made this video. So I did some pretty sweet, sweet ass games here in BFB Coliseum. See him getting some you know fun opponents and I used the boats and every opportunity I could even maps with like the smallest fucking pools we you know we had to still try to fit boats in here right so first map is concrete alley so as you can see the boat skins are already very different uh, I have describes it as a naval ship which makes total sense I think that's what they're actually called they are indeed naval ships kind of a gray look I kind of I, I think this skin or this uh grape shot I think that's zero zero one or one one I think it's about the same it looks pretty cute yeah you know, the color schemes all right the grapes kind of stand out I mean it, it it's nothing bad about it nothing fantastic the uh basic level dinghy is kind of odd I never really expected the boat to kind of turn into a dinghy yes maybe it still is like a metal destroyer but it looks like it's just a cheeky rubber raft to me I don't know but that's that. We'll get into higher upgrades eventually. But yeah, we're on Concrete Alley. So what kind of strategy we bring involving boat on this map? This is a very sub-heavy map, considering there was a fantastic submarine spot. Very, very good spot. And overall, not that much water, which uh, boats could benefit from. But, you know, you, so you can spam boats. Subs aren't that spammable, because reactor sub doesn't stack, and you really only need one first strike at a time. It's, this map is by far better for submarine than for boat. But I mean, boat can still hold up. You know, we're bringing mortar and farm alongside it, so it's kind of an early game strategy, which is bizarre considering this is definitely, 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 definitely not an early game map. 100% not an early game map. It is very reasonable to just go eat bl blue Nico and last late game on this map. Thankfully, my opponent's going farm, so we'll have farm, so we'll have an interesting back and forth game. Anyways, that's the second tier boat right there. It's. It's got the spinny camo texture thing, which I suppose is cool. If he rushes me, there we go. We'll get to see the destroyers coming in with some camo balloons and like some regens and trying to get me a boost, but all I need to do is retire my mortar. So anyways, I got two destroyers up right now, which are beefy. These guys are thick. Honestly, I swear they're a lot larger than the sprite for the normal destroyer. Uh, they're just like basically stacked up on top of each other. That's how big the sprite is. Like the actual space they take up is tiny, but their footprint or they're, they're just how they look is huge huge I say so we're gonna continue on that continue farming we're up on farms but just a little bit on Alice well here couldn't get me with any rushes and I can't rush him because he got the submarine but yeah what's the point of this strategy I mean generally it's just the strategy we can outgrid your opponent look I got the bank already and Alice is still struggling to get his uh, you know pro fake Alice I assume but uh, struggling to get the I assume factory yeah, probably going for a factory. But uh, yeah, the thing, the nice thing about the boat is while it struggles late game, it makes up for that by be, you know, allowing for better greed early game. Coming with a large rush there, that's like a fast going mob and a, or sorry, a mob and a bunch of ceramics coming back once again. I'm bringing in the fire wizard to help out this secondary rush that uh, he boosted. Thankfully, I was able to defend though. Fire wizard, you know, wizard made for an excellent fourth tower. So unfortunately, while you cannot fit too many boats, you know in the water so you can only have so many destroyers or so many boat poles it's okay because your fourth tower generally makes up for it and thank you we got the wizard you want any tower that's like decent on land but hold up this game's about to get weird here comes a rush to alice's side forcing the energy and forcing himself for ninja which strangely enough is prompt to just go for a second freaking he's going for his factory right after i rush him you don't think that would balloon boost to rush his way no and make him sell his factory oh heavens no i would never do such a thing but yet i did so unfortunately i had to sell some farms to process so he's got factory compared to my bank however i can withdraw from the bank continue to harass and respond to his harassment at the same time by using a monkey phoenix bringing in lots and lots of balloons however i'm kind of low on money i'm sending some moves sending some leads however his sabotage and balloon jitsu ninjas make quick quick work of that rush all right so we're back to square one i got my bank again alice does not have the factory in fact can't even afford the factory gotta do some lower level farms to try to save up for that i'm just chilling with my fire wizard i mean i could sell it for more greed but i think i want to save it kind of bring back the ability I, I i feel like i'm going to need it in the future if i sell it i'm gonna get harassed and honestly it's hard to say who is doing better in money because i mean while i do have the max tier bank it's 
I, I recently collected from it, so it's not making too, too much around. And Alice has that factory back. So I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna collect some more money. Come on with a double BFB rush. Triple? No, no, no. Just two BFBs. Then some fast cool mobs. And I boost on my side, I guess. Yeah, I didn't have the Phoenix at the ready, so I just want to make sure. 10% sure I wouldn't die to ceramics. Forcing Alice to sell that factory again. Now, I'm not too upset about, you know, wasting all my money this time. Because I got three plantations to back me up. And a pretty solid defense. So, I don't have to really keep scrambling that that much. Bunch of ceramics, I think, are just going to Phoenix ability yet again. So, yeah, another downside about the strategy is, sure, you get a bit more money. But what if you get a, like, glue or spike factory for a fourth tower? Actually, spike factory isn't too terrible in this case. Spike storm can be used. But if you get, like glue or maybe oh i don't know i mean boomerang's not the greatest either it's just another mid game tower then you're screwed because you won't have enough firepower to actually cost effectively deal with rushes thankfully i got the wizard help me out mortar is also yeah i mean it, it helps out a decent amount it's not going to be great against mobs you can do mortar stalls if the, your opponent all outs you and you can fend with boat and mortar decently well and it looks like alice just died there however that wasn't fully the case only slightly died Anyways, on my side, I actually got rid of the bank to get a factory because I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to keep draining this at stupid times. I'd rather have a constant income. So now, I'm just watching as Alice's side. I think he's out of energy, actually, if I remember correctly. So now I just got to chill with the Balloon Jitsu Ninjas as the Moab gets really far, but he can't do anything because I'm sending all these leads. And that's cock-blocking his defense, so he cannot kill that. GG, what a freaking weird game. Honestly, I'd never expect Ninja... Or, sorry, Boat Mortar and farm to beat ninja submarine farm ninja and submarine are definitely superior towers to the boat and ninja boats like middle of the road mortar is up there but probably not as good as either the sub or the ninja holy crap i cannot think of what that was called so yeah let's bring it over to another map one of my personal favorites yin yang it's kind of a kooky map it's really fucky with regrows you can really screw your with your opponent if you know how to rush or just I mean, I'll send regrow balloons even. You don't even know how to rush. need to know how to rush to send regrow balloons. It's reasonably easy, but uh, it, it's fun to be able to kind of catch your opponent off guard to be able to defend those pesky regrows or make sure they don't regrow into something completely disgusting. And the way I'm going, deciding to go about it is boat and mortar. M mortar is really nice because the Bernie stuff can actually deal with regrows pretty well. And as they kind of go around the bottom edge of the track, instead of regrowing, it's a lot more rainbow balloons. It kind of states like pink level. Then I can just finish them off the mortar and destroyer and that kind of stuff. First, we have to deal with it. First, we have to deal with it. Indeed, World of Hurt is going for Wizard Farm over there. And hopefully this game will actually get to see a bit more of the boat skins because we haven't actually talked about that in a while. We've only seen really the left side, which has been buffed recently and people are kind of saying it's OP. However, the fact is it's still not great late game. Yin Yang and I swear like Blue Nary Swamp. I guess there's Ice Flow, but um, but, but um, Blue, Blue Nary Swamp and Yin Yang are two maps where you can fit a lot of boats. And that's it. The rest of them you fit like five or so. And in Ice Flow, no one even goes boat. Everyone just brings the fucking submarine because it's so strong. Like, uh, I feel like... Boat's reasonably balanced right now. It's just about as okay as the Wizard. Bit more cost-effective early game. It has, like, its trade-offs, right? Wizard's better, you know, mid to late game, and Boat is better early to mid game. So I kind of like strategies like this, where you can greet a lot early game, keep your opponent her behind with almost constant harassment, which we're going to do right here. Boosted to some Regrow White, so I'm going to try a Regrow Lead into Regrow White into Pink Combo Rush. Yeah, it wasn't that effective. I should have sent White Balloons. That was a total mistake. whoop the frickin' do Oh, well. That's fine, that was round 12, and we only have two and a half farms, so if a World of Hurt comes in with a rush, I'm kind of preparing myself for it, hovering over these farms, getting ready for any potential hurt to happen. Does not look like it's happening yet, doesn't seem to be the rushing type, hashtag epic late game, molt fan maybe, coming in with the standard round 13 rush, which actually is a lot of regrows, gotta get two third tier wizards right there, upgrade from second tier to third tier. Deals with that okay, and a couple road spikes, uh, I guess, who was hard to see. But yeah, the Tornado Wizard did a pretty good job. Remember when Tornado Wizard used to cause Regro Farms? Well, I guess it's a bit better now. I don't know what changed. I guess Tornado Wizard on its own still wouldn't be that great. Anyways, breaking news. The balloons have invaded my side. The balloons have invaded my side. And we're going to defend with the defend those fine with our Destroyer and Bernie stuff combo. See, the Bernie stuff kind of kept the Regros in check. Like, there were still a lot of balloons that came. And I had to, you know, pop with Destroyer and all that. But thankfully, I did not need to boost. That would have been kind of bad. Trying another rush at World Hurt side. Nah, his Fire Wizard's too strong. Sells his farm! Uh-oh, and he's a Cobra, but he's, like, stealing my lives instead of 
killing me. <laughs> I have no idea what's up with that. Everyone, a lot of people seem to think that the uh, right side of Cobra's OP, like, oh my god, they steal my lives, but it's like, it's like, no. Stealing a balloon sends is also kind of OP OP. I mean, it's decent sent over to Moai, but it was just a $1,500 thing. I should be able to defend that. Anyways, we do actually have a 2-3 boat up right now. It's nice and blue. I actually really like this blue color. It's kind of very clustered with like four monkeys and four cannons on board, but I do like the color. That's one thing I'll definitely give it. I was actually planning to get a fourth tier boat because I saw a Cobra. I'm like, oh shit, he's gonna more brush me early. And but I'm like, yeah, I guess not this time. This time we're gonna suck in the Moab. Give me that good Moab suck. Coming in with these fast going Moabs and well, I mean that defended for now, but that's because he uses energy. Now we're coming back with even more fast cooldown Moabs. And no energy, nothing, trying to do like Riga Rainbow Rush to try to counter me. Smart play on his part, however, my destroyers and mortar uh, boosted were not to defend. GG. Now let's bring it to another short map, a map where a lot of rush or a lot of strategies, like common strategy, like Ninja Mortar, Dart Farm, Wizard Ice, they'll struggle to early game rushes, like Moebs or round 13, for example. So you can really catch your opponent off guard on this. So this is a map where I also really, really, really like. Uh, boat farm mortar just because like I said boats better early game you know you just have better farming but it doesn't transition to a great late game mortar is fantastic for early game cost effectiveness but if your opponent takes you late you're gonna have a harder time defending you're just not gonna have the firepower to deal with the massive amount of ZLMGs so because we can kill them early on this map or have a better chance of doing it well things might go all right also, it helps that our opponent is not exactly using optimal dart spots. I guess they just really want to anti-stall, I guess. I'll, I'll do that harassment, though. What's nice is that a 0-1 boat is very cost-effective for dealing with pinks. You just get one of those guys, put them on strong, maybe get a 1-1 one -one if your opponent will not fucking stop sending pinks. Like, I mean, it's still gonna leak a bit, don't get me wrong. But it, it's like, I, I'm just chilling right now, you know? I don't care about these miniature leaks. My opponent over here may potentially care that they're leaking a slightly more than I am. It does again, it does not help that the dart spot is suboptimal. With those three dart monkeys, if you had them sm more in the middle of the map, where most people put them, eh, you know, you would be doing a bit better. It'd be doing a bit better indeed. But that's not the case. We're gonna come with some greens, come with some pinks, come with some blacks. I think he's got enough firepower to deal with it this time. Eh, maybe a couple lives leaked. Those pesky pink balloons sometimes just can't catch them. Black's coming in on my side. May want to get a second second grape shop. Right now I'm just chilling with that black dinghy. You see, the, the boat's color is black, so it's going to do better against the black balloons. It's a uh, pretty strong next level strats, if I say so myself. And I do say so indeed. No round eight rush, that's fine. We're just going to chill out. So yeah, uh, I think we've seen all the boat skins, right? Except for the freaking aircraft carrier, which you would be out of your mind to use it in an actual battle. Do not use the aircraft carrier. It sucks. Just just build more destroyers, I guess. And even if you're out of space, the destroyers are just better building land whales. I mean, towers, you know, just, just build land monkeys for fuck's sake. Anyways, so we're kind of coming in with some like leads and zebras and regrows and all that. Trying to get the last few lives on him. He does it smartly energy. Smart, smart move on uh, my opponent's part. They only have two farms, though. They're lower on farms, and they're most certainly lower on eco. I got a nice almost 500 eco at this point. Also, I shouldn't have sent that Riga Rainbow. I knew he was going to get an ace regardless. He was going to panic. But So I wasted a bit of money on the rush, but it's okay. We're at 521 eco. More farms than him. We do have less defense than him, though, so he could come in with some sort of zebra rush. It's kind of make my day a little bit annoying, so I'm going to try to do a nice tower. Anyways, here comes the zebras, and we're going to defeat it by using wall hacks. Uh, yes, I just pulled out my cheat engine and completely demolished it. No, just kidding. It was a screen glitch. It actually kind of looks something more like the second rush that he sends at us, which we promptly destroy with two destroyers. I didn't even use a single freaking energy. I mean, that's what destroyers do. They destroy. I can't believe I forgot to emote destroy. That's like almost mandatory for bringing those guys. Yeah, uh, the screen, I, I have no idea. I uh, it, it, The game switched between my two monitors, and it was just like a black screen. I'm like, no, fucking shit. I had to fix that and defend at the same time. It was scary. But anyways, we're coming with Moab, some leads. That's eh, just going to kill our opponent there. Even with the boost, easily just dead. So now we're bringing on the Blue Area Swamp. And this is a game from a while ago, not today, because, you know, Boss Arena's running out today. But the one, if I had to pick a single map that I would use Boat Farm Mortar on, it would be 100% this map. This, this map is easily my favorite map to use Boat Farm Mortar on. It's still inferior to Ninja Farm Mortar. I mean, every strat is. It's not like something, you know, revolutionary and groundbreaking. But if you're going to, you know, go on Blue Narius and dick around, maybe try to, you know, grind or something or rush your opponent, this may be the 
strategy to do it with because on average games will end earlier if you're just constantly harassing your opponent. It just works. We can even make concrete alley and I'm freaking, I'm freaking like, what was it, round 27, round 28? When my opponent had ninja submarine farm. That's pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Like I said though, the only downside is you need a good fourth tower. Uh, on this map, there's a bit more leeway though because you can maybe fit like 12 boats or something larger like that. We just need more maps with bigger pools like this. I was so peed off with uh, Area 52 because you can only fit two boats on there. And if one of the boats is already a destroyer, you can't place a second boat. That is ridiculous. I cannot believe there was like no boat space. What is even the point? It's not even good for submarines. Holy shit. Okay, whatever. Yeah, rant over. Uh, this, this game is also without the skins, sadly, because like I said, it was recorded a while ago. But you'll get to see the just the finesse of this strategy, basically. Boat on strong, mortar just doing doing its job, you know, dealing with those greens and those blacks, and it's just it just cleans up so perfectly on this map. There's so many fantastic mortar spots. We can just greed like crazy with farms and harass and defend. It's it's a wonderful life. It is a wonderful life indeed. So we're going to carry on into this uh, next round. Uh, my opponent's kind of caught up on farms, but I'm going to kind of also keep up the harassment. Maybe force battle energy, maybe force a spike a bolt, which is more likely, I assume. Or neither. He probably just road spike and is just going to get up all these triple arts. I'm not going to stop this rush. Well, yeah, okay. Just kidding. I am. So that sadly did not work. And we sunk a bit of money into that. Got some eco. Now we got to actually catch up to our opponent farms. All right. It's all right. It's fine. Got a submarine. Submarine's also good on this map, so we'll get to see boat versus sub in action. It's very standard to go one reactor and just maybe uh, air burst darts around it. Reactor subs cannot solo regal rainbows on this map. You definitely need some support for it. But I'm sure my opponent knows this. Two, <laughs> two low level boats also cannot solo regal rainbows, believe it or not. So I'm probably going to have to be careful. Going to have to be on edge for any rush. Any tease rush, any small rush. Yeah, something like this. Yeah, let's get a fucking destroyer. Nothing that's going to make me boost. That was just some um, zebras and pinks. Got a second mortar. Sold it immediately. Now we're going back to farmer tiling. It's a good day on the ranch. Yeah, when you have five farms, your opponent has only four. Mmm, that good old boat greed. So, I mean, part of the greed as well is that I also have a lot more eco than he likely does. I mean, he may be close, but I don't think he's quite there. I don't know. I could be wrong. He did send some greens earlier, so I mean, there's no actual way for me to know without going through replay, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pull up a Battles TV game for a video. It's kind of bad form. For some reason, people don't really like watching matches on Battles TV. The, the, the extra layout is kind of weird, I suppose. But that's okay. Coming in with some reroll leads. I gotta get a third tier mortar for that and a second boat in order to defend that large, large reroll lead rush without boosting. That, uh, that gave me a good time. Now we can just sell some farms, get our monkey bank, and have two farms left over just for safety. It is just fantastic in Towerville. My opponent is probably nowhere near to 4 tier farm. Oh, just kidding. They're getting it. They're selling all their farms to do it, and they have, like, no defense. I think they sold dart monkeys to make this work. So I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Let's come in for a rush. Maybe I should have energy Maybe to try to force him to sell a farm. That's okay. I mean, he's just going to energy to probably defend it anyway. He's got a lot of triple darts, right? Right? So that means he can defend it? Right? Right? Nope. He's dead. GG. The power of the boat farm mortar. So I don't know. Pretty fun games. Pretty fun time. Pretty cool skins, if you ask me. Some of them are hit and miss. Like, I like the, you know, the look of the boat ability. And I also like the grape shot boats. Those are probably my two favorite out of all of them. Overall, maybe not my favorite skin, but it's neat to use regardless. So yeah, thanks for you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think of the skins. Let me know what you think in the boat in general. It's a very middle-of-the-road tower. Better early game than late game. Something I like at least. So uh, yeah. See you all my live stream tonight. I'll be playing some balloons. Maybe having a couple drinks. I don't know. See you there. Peace out.